Well, look at who we have back again this year. The famous Mrs. Claus. Thank you for coming back to the Butler Buzz. You're welcome, Trish. I just love it when I can come to Butler. It's so much fun, even in a heat wave that we're having right now with it being the end of October. Yes, and but I can't believe, and I'm so excited that we get to start talking about Christmas we and do. all of the joy. It's just around the corner. Yep, it is. So let's first start by talking about our wonderful event that we have every year here in Butler. And that's the Spirit of Christmas Parade. It is, and it's magical this year, just like my red cape that I wear. Oh. The Spirit of Christmas Parade is the magic of Christmas, and it is going to be Saturday, November 26th, starting at 5.30. So it's a light-up parade again, and you know how Santa and I love Christmas lights. Oh, absolutely. And it is a wonderful tradition here in our community, and uh, I know it's always fun to see, you know, they kind of compete with these different floats. Sure. The, the organizations and what kind of uh, themes they come up with. Right. It's always fun to see. And, and I love to watch the marching bands. This perform. year it'll be extra special because everyone has a different theme because what's magic of Christmas mean to you? Oh, it means just the miracles. Right. That happen. So we don't know how many churches will have the miracle and everything that will be presented on Main Street. Yeah. And I know that the businesses love that parade because it brings a lot of activity down there. Sure does. And there's also fun activities for the kids too, right? Yes. I think it's T.W. Phillips will be having something in their parking lot for all the children from 3 to 5. And they'll be making balloons and having some fun for them. Just all kinds of activities in Butler on that. Saturday. Yeah, so something definitely for everybody and their family and those free kids activities are from 3 to 5 in the People's Parking Lot. I do also know there's face painting involved. Ooh. And I, I think the kids are even going to get a little, a little surprise. Nice, nice, nice. Now, you are busy. I am. You're busy all year, but especially at this time of the year, and you have something very special going on with these stockings, and it's I called Hang did. Tough Stockings. It is, and I brought a very special stocking today, but hang tough stockings stuffed with love and care. And we love to have our community pitch in and help us stuff as many stockings as we can here in Butler County. And then all the stockings that are received in the Butler area stay in Butler. And where do these stockings go? Well, they go to all of our cancer patients. Anyone fighting for their life and fighting to beat this disease that's out there. And we have um, participants in the Butler community, and they go ahead, we put boxes out for one month, we put a box out, okay. and we collect items, and we like stuffed stockings. So if your family wants to get together and stuff a stocking and, and have a fun time doing it or going shopping together to see what you want to put it in a stocking, once again, it's the magic of Christmas because these stockings land in different people's hands throughout oh. Butler County. And I know Mrs. Claus and Hang Tough Stockings has an amazing website with lots of information about where you can go to make your donation of items or your stocking. We do. We have a beautiful website, hangtoughstockings.com. Okay. Imagine that. I it's easy to find. <laughs> and it has all kinds of places that you can drop off a stocking. You can read about things that we've done in the past. Um, Mrs. Claus loves to get people involved, so we have many churches right. that do this in inside their church as a community effort. We have Boy Scout troops. We have Girl Scout troops. This year we have the Butler High uh, football boosters oh, that good. decided to join and kind of compete against the Butler hockey team. Okay, so we got a little idea. competition in here with our stockings this year, but that's okay. The more the merrier. And it teaches all the children that it's something to give back to the community and to people. And there's nobody out there that has never not been touched by cancer in one way or another. For sure, for sure. What are some items that people typically stuff in those stockings? Well, if people don't want to stuff a stocking, a lot of people donate us homemade little like for gift cards. beautiful thing and then there's gift cards yes yeah, so there's there's gas gift cards that people will donate there's Aww. restaurant gift cards that they'll donate but this was all handmade uh, the lady made bookmarks and wallets she made walker things and then she made tissue covers what a great idea and they're all festive and pretty and then we just put, we always like to make sure there's a nice book and pens or coloring books and, and pencils or markers. Um, a, maybe like chapstick is in here because everyone needs chapstick, especially right. in Butler. We have some snacks. We have coffees and teas. We have hand cream. We have pretty soaps. I mean, it's just like opening up <laughs> a stocking ending. on Christmas morning. Absolutely. Packs of gum. 
and chocolate. Okay. And oh, and let's see, always hand sanitizers because no one wants to be with dirty hands. Right. And oh, there's a stuffed animal and some nuts mm -hmm. and there's some cookies and oh. People get very creative, huh? They do. And I see some macaroni and cheese in this one. Oh. So all of our clinics offer a Keurig available to okay. the patients. And then, so there's hot water available, and some of the patients have to be there for four to six to eight hours a day right. getting their treatments. So we like to keep them occupied and have some good things for them to eat. I know our time is almost up, Mrs. Claus. Do you need help delivering these stockings? Well, we can always use help in Butler County. So if they get on our website and submit a little uh, jingle to us, we'll gladly reach out and touch uh, their phones and, and ask them for their assistance in delivering them. Aww. Yes. That would be great. Well, as you can tell, Mrs. Claus is very busy at this time of the year. Please join us at the Spirit of Christmas Parade and consider volunteering or donating for Hang Tough Stockings. Thank you for all you do. Thank you for Thanks having for me. Coming yes, back to Butler. see you on November 26th. Thanks for watching this episode of the Butler Buzz. If you want to see more, just click on the playlist button up here. To keep up to date with all of Armstrong Neighborhood Channel, click on the subscribe button down here. Hey, I suggest you do both. See you next time.